This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you so much for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Craig McKee. We begin with your headlines with the latest developments in the mass shooting in Indianapolis. Authorities Friday night released the names of the eight people who were killed. They are 32 year old Matthew Alexander, 19 year old Samaria Blackwell, 66 year old Amarjeet Johal, 64 year old Jazzwinder Kaur, 68 year old Jazzwinder Singh. 48-year-old Amarjeet Scone, 19-year-old Carly Smith, and 74-year-old John Weissert. Five others were wounded. They are all expected to recover. Their names are not being released at this point. Police say the shooter is 19-year-old Brandon Hole. Police also say Hole took his own life at the scene. He last worked at the FedEx facility in 2020. Investigators haven't said why he left or what role, if any, that played in the shooting. Officers say Hole opened fire at the distribution facility late Thursday night, taking four lives outside the building and four lives inside the building. Security measures designed to keep intruders from getting too far into the building worked as planned, according to officials on scene. We're going to keep you informed about new developments on this throughout the weekend. Ohio is closer to deciding how it will spend more than $2 billion in pandemic relief from Washington. Both the House and Senate have now approved their plans to spend the cash. The House version includes nearly $860 million for schools. The two chambers now have to reconcile their bills before it can be sent on to Governor Mike DeWine. Well, the sudden death of a University of Cincinnati student was not caused by a COVID-19 vaccine. That's according to a preliminary autopsy report. 21-year-old John Foley was found dead Sunday night at his home off campus. He had received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine on Saturday. The Hamilton County coroner says her office did an autopsy Monday and found no signs of clotting or pulmonary embolism. Foley's death uh, so soon after getting the vaccine, of course, has prompted a lot of speculation about what happened to him. Hi there, I'm Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. As we look at your Saturday here, we're going to start off with temperatures in the 40s. We're going to see some sunshine around, but the clouds take over and we go overcast for our Saturday. Tomorrow, we see sunshine. We'll clear out later tonight. I see mostly sunny to partly sunny skies and temperatures will be in the low 60s. So for today, 58. Tomorrow, 61. Low 60s to start the week, but then a little cold snap could mean some more frost for the tri-state.